the Switch presentation was, I think, pretty great. Uh, they mar their marketing was very good, I, th I think, personally. And there's a, they showed off a great lineup of games that will be amazing. Let's start with the big part, the Joy-Con. The Joy-Con showcase was almost half of the presentation, which is okay. The Nintendo had the right to show how good their hardware truly was. The Joy-Con are debatably revolutionary. Now, do the Joy-Cons magically spring out of dildo? No, unfortunately. But they introduced something we could have never thought of, HD Rumble. I nutted so hard when they showcased, I painted my walls. <laughs> Such an unexpected feature, yet it makes sense. Xbox tried to simulate this by adding rumble in the triggers, but couldn't truly get what they wanted. So Nintendo, creator of the rumble, had the right to do this. And I personally think they should patent it. So no other company can just steal their genius idea like in the past with motion controls or, you know. Now the downside is the price of the Joy-Cons. It's $80 US, which is about 66 pound and 75 euro. But if you think about it, it makes sense. The Joy-Con has HD rumble, um, an IR camera, NFC, and the new cutting edge motion controls. And if you think about it, an Xbox controller is about $60. So these with all this new technology in it is $80, which some of it's unneeded like the IR camera, but it makes sense. But in all, I think that the Joy-Con section was amazing and uh, the guy who did it should be president of Nintendo. I love him, he's amazing. Now what made the Wii U fail was its other shit marketing, but the Switch had it right this time. Around with games like 1-2 Switch, which marketed to be a party stable rather than a family friendly kids game with your toddlers growing up with Nintendo, which I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but what made the Wii U fail is like, if you look at the Mario 3D, land, 3D World sorry, commercial, You'll see how it's marketed towards little kids, which is not what they needed to do. Once you switch, though, if you watch a slideshow of what they were doing, it looked like more adult parties. While they did show a family, it's not to say that that's not what they were marketing for. They were marketing for more, uh, I don't know, fucking drinking parties or something, but you know what I mean. Another good thing they did, I, this was kind of considered marketing, but it's considered more like promoting. They were showing off the third party support, which I think it was 80 companies, maybe or games developed i can't really remember but the fact that they can show this off and they made it a separate part of their presentation saying hey look at all these companies are developing for us you know got like we got bethesda we got ea who cares about ea and you know we got uh frick a travis touchdown man um and shimigami tensai and all these all these third-party games which is great and what i what i think is if they're showing off Skyrim, and I think we can go ahead and assume it's the special edition. I think Fallout could run on lower settings on the Switch, which would be amazing. Imagine taking Fallout with you anywhere. I know that'd be a feature a lot of... Again, not a feature. I know that'd be a game a lot of people would love, like a Fallout everywhere. And then if you think of EA, you know, we think of DICE. Maybe Battlefield 1 can come to the Switch at a lower setting but it could still happen and that will pull people in and intrigue them be like oh i can play battlefield anywhere now at 720p this is worth buying and i can guarantee you you'll get you will get quite the sales if you do stuff like that so let's just hope that nintendo doesn't pull any of this wii u marketing because it's just not it was not good <laughs> and i think the switch reveal trailer was a good thing to stand by Considering they didn't make it some sort of like whole kitty like yay Nintendo they made it this thing where it's like there were no kids in the reveal trailer which is good they might have just done that because they the kids might have peeped or something which I'm not I'm not really surprised but like it's a good direction it's a very good direction um they need to market their stuff like that they need to market it towards the older demographic not I'm not saying go a whole Sega edgy but don't market it for toddlers is all i'm saying now we did see a major lineup of games even if the release date is kind of F iffy we are getting breath of the wild at launch which is very good we're getting mario kart a little after which that's kind of stupid i think they could have easily pushed mario kart out for launch i mean the game looks finished from like people are playing it at the switch event they're playing everything the game is basically finished at that point i don't think it really needs to be delayed at all um mario odyssey is apparently done developing they're just polishing the game a lot which i actually appreciate polishing a game is amazing like they're just gonna shine and polish that boot until you can see your own penis 
<laughs> my jokes are not funny. But they're going to just polish the game until it's amazing, which I, I love. I think that's going to be great. And uh, Splatoon 2 coming out summer, hopefully before August, before July, maybe. I would really like that, too, because, you know, Splatoon is great. But, um, yeah, they're just going to launch games. And they've also got Skyrim once again. Shin Megami Tensei is coming. The Fire Emblems of Warriors, which looks like a better version of Hyrule Warriors, in my opinion, which would be great because, you know, I wasn't too big on Hyrule Warriors, but this Fire Emblem game looks quite good. But yeah, we got a big launch of games. You know, we're also getting ARMS. ARMS. Did you know that ARMS can't be played with motion controls in some instances? I know that, but that's going to be quite fun, whether I'm playing with the Joy-Con motion controls or whether I'm playing with the Joy-Con pad or whatever. I think ARMS will be a great fun game. It's like, literally, it's Overwatch. It's it's like, it's it looks a lot like Overwatch. I'm not going to lie similar art style but guess what i don't care it's gonna be a fun game i presume I, I presume it people have been saying it's fun but yeah um i think the games have a great lineup and you know stuff like that but one thing i see in the switch discussion which review tech usa the man the myth the legend himself went over is that the specs aren't that good that they didn't mention him in the screen stream and they're like and he called out people for saying you know Nintendo's made beasts of a console before the Wii. Like, you know, and he's right, Super Nintendo was way more powerful than the Genesis. The N64 was like silicon graphics and all that stuff. I'm just literally stealing all the switch from his videos. And then he said the GameCube was more powerful than the PS2. But then like when the Wii came around, they just completely dropped. They just made it un basically another GameCube, which I agree with him on that. If the Wii was never su successful, We'd probably have more powerful Nintendo. We'd definitely have more powerful Nintendo consoles. And while I ne wouldn't wish the Wii didn't succeed, I'd probably not know people I know today without the Wii. So I wouldn't, you know, change time because who knows what could happen then. I would say that the Wii U was not good, but still, you know, I wouldn't agree with them completely, but I'd semi agree with them on that. And that they could, I think they should spend more time on the Switch because it's, it's March 3rd, right around the corner. They could have spent more time to make this thing more powerful than the ps4 and xbox one and release it next fall i think i mean obviously you'd have to wait a while but then all the games would be finished developing all that stuff and i think it would have had a stronger launch but they wanted to shelf it out faster but i'm not gonna lie with with all these things of in specs and stuff the the Switch looks really nice. Breath of the Wild looks um, graphically stunning. I thought he was running in 1080p on the Switch, but it's 990p. I was very surprised. Uh, Mario Kart 8 looks amazing. Still 60 FPS. Um, Mario Odyssey looks amazing. That I I don't know, but that game might be running on Unreal Engine 4. They didn't say, but I wouldn't be surprised at all because the game looks like it's running on Unreal Engine 4. And that'd be great if it is, because imagine the possibilities. And then, I don't really know, Fire Emblem looks okay. Splatoon, a little disappointed, looks exactly like the Wii U version. But then again, what can you really do to graphically enhance Splatoon? Uh, I just hope the resolution is bumped up from 720 to 990. 10. I'm sure Splatoon 2 can run at 1080 on their new hardware. I can, I'm sure of it, but... I do, it could be a more powerful console. Maybe they'll release uh, Nintendo Switch Pro, which I'll get ripped off because I have a regular, well, a pre-ordered regular Switch. But you know, they might do that and maybe be a really powerful console. But for now, what they said was the the handheld mode is actually running at 720p 30 FPS, which is very good. And then the, uh, well, that's for Breath of the Wild and about any other games, but then for the TV that runs at 990, but it can, it can run up to 1080, 60 m because it's running Mario Kart 8, which runs at 60. So TV mode can run 1080, 60 with Unreal Engine 4 and handheld mode 720. Not too sure about the frame rate there because I don't really know. I'm sure if I, I'll, I'll research it and put it up on the screen. And if I don't put anything up on the screen, then then it, the frame rate is, I don't, I don't know. I will fade. But to me, I don't really think the Switch specs affect my feelings on the Switch. I think that the fact that they're managing to package this home and handheld console is good enough on its own. I'm just gonna be happy now that when I go on vacations, I can, you know, bring Zelda with me, bring Splatoon with me, which would be great. 
uh, break Minecraft with me eventually, which is kind of stupid because I have a laptop. I can bring all my games, and that's why I think they need the strong third-party support, like I said earlier. So I don't really care about the specs. But, you know, I just hope that handheld mode doesn't run terribly. But yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, I might make a response to this after the Switch comes out, maybe countering some of my points in this video. You know, because it's, it's not launching with many games. But, you know, I'll make that. And yeah, this is Mac back, and I'll see ya in the next video. Okay, guys, so uh, I just took everybody who commented, I wanted Dad on the video, and I, um... I put him in the wheel to side, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and click it and see who wins. And the winner is Jack. Uh, just message me on Steam, and I'll give you that game. Alright, Mac back, and I'll see ya whenever I upload my next video in five years. Thank you.